Hi, my name is Mr. Cadell, and today I'm going to show you how to use Sharpie markers to ink your graphic design. I have a thick tip Sharpie marker here and a thin tip Sharpie marker here. I'm going to start with a thick one. I'm going to talk about a thing called line weight. Line weight is how thick or thin a line is. Now, if I take my Sharpie marker and tilt it to the side here, I can actually get a pretty thick line here. If I tilt it up, I can get a thinner line. And if I use my thin Sharpie marker, I can actually get a thinner line even still. Now, one tip I do want to share with you when it comes to using Sharpie markers and especially the thin tip Sharpie marker is that when you're drawing with it you just don't want to stop and pause with your pen still on the paper because it'll start bleeding and making these dots. Now that one's pretty obvious but here's what I often see is someone kind of stop and hesitate in their drawing. They kind of draw and kind of stop and hesitate there then they come up and they're getting these little bumps and dots along their line. Instead of a line that's nice and smooth like this that's what it should look like. Now I'm going to switch to my drawing that I'm actually working on and show you what this looks like in real life. I'm going to start with my thick Sharpie marker. Most of the time you're going to be using your thick Sharpie marker for things like big outlines and details and things like that, the big part of your project. I'm going to come around here on this outline and you see just a general outline, just sort of tracing that line. Now sometimes I actually even go back over it and just kind of thicken up parts here, just making it double thick is what I call it, a double thick line right here. Now I can do that on the outside, I can do it on other parts, but mainly there's those big parts that we're looking to trace and ink. Now I'm going to switch to my thin Sharpie marker and you see I'm going to use this for the smaller details, just like this. Now that I've completed the inking step with the Sharpie markers, you'll notice that I used thick, medium, and thin lines. I used the thin Sharpie marker to do some of the small details, as mentioned before, and then I used the thick Sharpie marker to do some of the bigger details and bigger parts. Notice that sometimes, like for example, this chocolate candy bar here, I'll put a thicker outline around it because it's an important element. And notice also on the text, I have two different kinds of lines. I have a medium weight line outlining the text, but also I put a thicker line at the bottom of the letters. That's called a drop shadow. Now at the very end, I took my eraser and I started erasing some of those extra pencil lines that might be left over just to clean up the drawing. And one word of advice, if you do have like a mistake, you accidentally make a mark with a Sharpie marker, of course it won't erase. So just try your best to turn it into a happy accident there. Now that's how you ink with Sharpie markers.